We are cleaning the stupid smartphone right now as we're trying to reproduce this very scenario. Once again, in trying to find out if there's anything here between us, I'm willing to drive up to meet you next week, even though it's going to cost me a lot of money. It doesn't matter because men were, were created to fully take care of women, and they were created to sit around and tell men what to do. Unless the men tell them what to do, then they need to get liberated and, and have a sassy attitude when they teach a um, language that isn't used much anymore and it is considered to be dead. But then again, that really ticks uh, women off, apparently. Women like you, but I haven't yet met you. I don't even know how tall you are. I don't even really know what you look like. And we're just trying to get to know one another. And boy, am I being grilled about my uh, Ubers on my phones. And so, and, and no one's answering my my deeper questions. Let me see if I can get an answer from you. So there we go, Mr. Finger. Buy, I do not spend, but I do not want to spend some time, but I do want to spend some time with you talking before I decide to do anything that bold and expensive. I understand. Man, my phone had been bad. I couldn't send anything out. Darn. Darn that phone. I can make an excuse if I want. <laughs> I would like to talk about the possibility of visiting you. Keep trying to get through. It's now a whole day later. Hmm. This is crazy. How do you correspond with somebody who can't answer you? Will do. My phone is better at the moment, but still bad coverage down here. Down here in Maine, down down Maine, and my mommy wants my attention for a bit. Oh, Mom, why do you need my attention? After all, aren't you grown and I'm grown too? I'm Joan, I'm grown. Why does your phone say Georgia? Suspicion, suspicion, suspicion. Because I lived there when I got my cell phone, I'm going to start my drive to Connecticut this afternoon, even though I spelled it S-T-A-R. That's for Carolyn Star, one of my many um, gazillions. I will be free to talk if you get through. Hmm. Let's see. We'll try. I just heard your voice message. I should be at my motel by 7 if you want to call me. Why is it that you can't get through to me? And it is now the 15th, and I'm, I've driven all this way, all the way up here. Oh my, so nice to be back in internet land, and yet still giving attention to mommy. Also had a very good share. Chit, chit. Christian, I find friend come over. Sorry, I, I couldn't call. New day tomorrow. Mmm. Looking forward to hearing from you. Can talk tomorrow back in Interland. And that is good. Interland. Where's Interland? Oh, Internetland. Oh, I see. Was your drive okay? I'll be on the road driving and should arrive by one o'clock. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, Joan. In trying to discern the Lord's voice in this relationship process, I'm being challenged with this possibility with you because of the difficulties which have already been making it hard to communicate. I did wake up this morning a bit excited about possibly meeting you, though aside from all of these challenges, if I were to make the trip to Maine, it would be be with me arriving Sunday night, sometime after nine o'clock in the evening. If there is something between us, it should be revealed if we meet the next morning over coffee. If there is something worth spending more time, I can stay another night. If you have the time, if not, we go our separate ways, having had a pleasant meeting. 
please pray this through on your end, especially if you have the time needed to meet like this. And with this opportunity, you can call anytime at this point because I'm beginning my drive. It is now the 16th. Good morning, Logan. I'm sorry about difficulty in talking. I just woke up now, and my mommy is already to, to visit Sai, and I'll have to find some time later. It is just unusual turning since timing since I, I rarely get to visit. I will find some time soon. I have hardly ever had spent any time with my mother. I keep spending way too much time with you. The most important part of this process is to see his hand guiding and the timing. Perhaps your mother might have some insight into your quest to meet someone. <laughs> patience is a fruit of the spirit. Yes, I'm not always great with patience, but getting a little better, I hope. <clears throat> well, I just got another possible confirmation for coming to meet you. It has to do with my brother. Oh, lots of laughs. Forward to, forward to hearing. Look, forward to what? Meeting, look, hi. He lives in Haverville, my brother does. Massachusetts. Oh, we drive right through Haverville on our way from Con. Con Edison, Con Job. Oh, I mean, I meant to say Connecticut, which is now capital C, capital T, but it used to be C O N N E C T I C U T. Or it could have been M I S S I S S I P P I. I don't know. Prob. Well, it used to be prob probably. It's probably my mommy again. And she just told me she and my sister. Who is coming up tomorrow? Stay until morning. Huh? What did I mean by that? Oh, Logan will figure it out because he knows. He knows all about my family. Any idea about meeting on Monday? Uh, John? Still trying to balance a few family members' needs. <laughs> because I'm an enabler. Oh, poops, oops, 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 oops. I forgot to tell you that uh, they can't take poo-poos without me. Sounds good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at the nice picture I've taken on my way up to Maine from a friend's backyard yesterday afternoon. Another friend, Logan? Yes. Whoa, look at that cloud. Wow. What another shot from a restaurant last night. <laughs> That doesn't cost me any money. <laughs> wow, look at this. I'm on the shore. Lovely photos of yours. Look at mine. The main shore has always been my favorite, according to me. It is awesome here. Should I move? <laughs> I haven't met, met you. You might like it, but you said you... Despise the cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only from late at November to March. That's when I would have to escape to Florida. We need to begin the negotiations as soon as we get to meet. As now, August 17th, 2017, it's 8.22 p.m. How long is this going to take to meet? I think if we get to meet on Monday, there should be a sense about possibilities for a future. A long-distance relationship can be time spent learning to communicate and coming to an understanding of the Lord's will. As I said, I am open to anything if the Lord is leading. I will arrive at the reunion tomorrow. It will be non-stop visiting until Sunday. Let me know ASAP about Monday. So... I can make plans one way or the other. I think Monday is possible, but at this point I might be back in Bangor, and I don't know when you want to drive that far. I'll make the drive because I do sense a leading. 
It will be worth knowing once we meet if there is more, and I expect we will be able to determine that pretty much right away. Do you want me to make the trip in originally reaching out to me? You must have some level of attraction, correct? Good morning, Joan. It is very apparent to me that you have much on your plate at the moment, and the timing of meeting me may not be the best timing. This could be the test to see if you sense a resolve in meeting me, which is where hearing the Lord at the moment, you or I could be having second thoughts. If you just think it's too much at this point, then let me know. I think you are very attractive, and I am impressed with what I see in your family life. I want you to see the same in me, and that is why I'm willing to make this drive while I'm up, while I'm up, while I'm up, while I'm up here. I do need to know from you if you want me to come. So pray and then call or text me. Thanks, Logan. I just woke up. Yes, we'll pray hard to get a lot of private time. These last few days, yes, the timing is difficult, and I have many thoughts on my heart as I prepare to see me, my middle daughter, off to a new adventure. Grad school and get ready for school starting so soon. For me, much more to say, but not now. I realize you need to know about our meeting. Do you do you can plan? I'll seek the Lord if I have time to seek Him. I seek the Lord and get back together. You as ASAP. Yes, difficult timing, but then again, you are so close now. And my children, they're just graduating from uh, elementary school and junior high. Uh, 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 he will speak to your heart through peace, but you seem agitated. Maybe he's not going to override you. Whoops. Did the narrator add something? Oh, peace, yes. Yes, love it. Love peace. I can now apparently smoke some marijuana because it's legal, but boy, oh boy, when it was illegal, I was a good little girl and I would have never, ever taken drugs, especially marijuana. Mary Jane. Uh, your message came through to me at 821 on my phone, Joan. Below is Romans 821, that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. Remember, our meeting may have greater implications if we realize that he builds a house for his purposes. Your next response came in at 8.33. Romans 8.33 says, Who will bring against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Cool! Was, was on the phone with my doctor's office and the call got dropped back at the shore. Now, I believe in doctors. They're really very healthy doctors, and they need to be there with me. Um, remember, Luke was a doctor, and my, my daughter's about to marry Luke, the doctor. And, uh, oh, I get so upset with him. He doesn't stop everything he's doing to take care of my daughter. Logan, I apologize. I'm keeping you waiting on this question. I don't mean to be rude, but I am rude. I'm just a little pulled in all sorts of directions this time of year before you go back to school. It's crazy enough. And now my sister and my mom are here, so here's what I'm thinking. I think I'm going back to Bangor tomorrow. I don't want to make you drive up. I do things that need opportunity, but I'm just not sure I want to make you bother. Um, even though you've already made so much and you're almost there, I don't want to be rude and I don't want you to bother coming up to see me. But since you're here, well, if you want, we could meet in Beth wherever Beth is tomorrow, probably around Beth, Bethlehem, Beth. Uh, I don't know where Beth is. I'm sure he knows where it is. Tomorrow, probably around 1, or we could uh, maybe meet sometime in Bangor on Monday. I, I would really like to know what you're sensing. I have so many things going on. I'm 
having a hard time discerning anything more than I was interested in talking to you, even though I reached out to you. <laughs> Joan, it's possible that I might want to make the six-hour drive, but now I'm so involved in memory lane at this reunion in Darien, Connecticut, a very wealthy town I grew up in, where they wouldn't even allow me into college because I wasn't college material. I had to go off to Norwalk community so I could avoid the draft, and then I had to uh, join the Navy, the Navy Reserve, and have my hair all cut off and feel really awkward because I was around all my hippie friends. Oh, God, the things we have to do. I want to make the decision tomorrow if that will work. Is there a motel close to you that you can recommend? I will book that Sunday night, and we can then spend some time on Monday in the Bangor, Maine area. I understand totally. We'll talk soon. Any motels you can recommend near you? Everything is in Bangor, unfortunately. Uh, uh, now, I've been invited to stay at some friends who live just south of Bangor. I will confirm everything with you tomorrow. That would be great. I don't like you having to pay for a night, but I think my two girls will pay, and they're at home, and they wouldn't be ready for me to invite you to stay with us, and also the Bible reminds us to avoid the appearance of evil, so we have to pretend we're not acting like this, and we have to hide our evil. <laughs> Where's a Bangor? Where is a Bangor? Oh, wait a minute, I live in Bangor. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Not sure I will find out tonight and let you know. This may be the confirmation I've been looking for to get an idea. If he is in our meeting, I sure hope so, because it's been a crazy process so far. Yes, it has. On my way to Bangor, should be getting there around 4 o'clock. Can I take you out to dinner tonight? Yes, that would be nice. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm not care if I'm not careful, you'll get there before me. My sister and my mom are reluctant to have me leave, even though I'm making plans with you. So I really do have to do what they want me to do, even though you're coming up there to meet me. What town do your friends live in? They will not be there until Monday afternoon, so I will just go to my motel and call or text you. Tell your mom... And sister, you have a date for dinner tonight with a real nice guy. Who knows? His main name may be Jesus. K. K. Sera, sera. Circle K. You're right. That should make them happy. And it's all about making them happy. I look forward to meeting you. Where, by the way, are you staying? The Charles Inn might be nice, and there is also the Budget Motel. I think that is its name, but then again, I don't want anybody knowing that I'm going out with anybody that would stay in a cheap, rotten motel hotel that has cockroaches. I found a place with Tom Bodell at the Motel 6. Is 7 o'clock for dinner good? I just... Who is Tom Bowden? <laughs> Marge cut herself last night and is still bleeding. So the, the directory, the drive, the doctor told her to get into the ER and take a bath. I mean the electric uh, slide. I mean the ER, the emergency room. She is by herself since Maria, Maria is at Friendly Lake House. Prayers welcome. I right know if you feel like praying. Will do. I'll call you when I get in. I think it might be better to try to meet by six, even though you might be a little tired at least. We would have a little more time, and if we meet at seven, I don't like stay up too, too late. I'm one of them should try a restaurant called the High Tide, which is across from the Sea Dog, and the girl said has better food for a better price because it's all about better food and not paying anything. Or Patty Murphy is down in the center of town. 
it's kind of nice too. That would be also. But T-E-T-O isn't spelled correctly. I am a Latin teacher, but that's not important. Words don't mean anything if you're in a hurry. Sounds perfect. I will call you after one. Check in. I check in. Sitting at the bar when you walk in. I'm sitting here in the parking lot of the motel with the perfume you wore lingering on my neck because of your passion. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We must have met. The narrator doesn't even know that, as I'm struck by the moment I just had with you. I, of course, want more. I do want to be with you. The Lord is doing something, but I don't know how it's going to work. He got me up here through determination. He will show the way. I loved kissing you. I loved holding your hand. And other things. You are very good. Good man, trying to sort through stuff and head head to the Lord's sleep. We'll talk soon. I woke up thinking about you, Joan. Yes, nice thoughts, but I didn't want to be carried away by passion. You said something last night about living part-time away from each other's is the possible scenario of our getting together. But to me, that doesn't seem wise, good, or desirable. I know that, God, all things are possible, but I have a job here. Let's meet at the coffee shop in Hamden. It's right across the Irving Station. I can't remember. It's called at the moment, but it's right there on Route 1. You can just take Route 1 from Bangor. I think it's called the Coffee Break Cafe. The Trumpet by Bill Burns. I hear bells in heaven right now, which usually go with Christmas, but in this case, there is a ringing of the bells of heaven to draw your attention to the light of Jesus Christ, to draw your attention back to the Lord, to draw your attention away from the things that are going wrong on this earth, to draw your attention to his kingdom and the kingdom you abide in. He is calling to you today to allow his bells, the music of heaven, to invade your life and carry you on to the end of this age with great hope in his spirit, knowing absolutely that he is with you, for you, and wants to be a part of what you are doing in this world and will be so if you just say, Here I am, Lord, come walk with me. And written by his wife, who writes small straws by Marsha Burns, press through the darkness and resist the work of degradation against you and humanity. Continue to push until your existence is found in my kingdom, where truth and righteousness prevail. This is all a matter of where you invest your time, energy, thoughts, emotions and will to get up to Bangor, Maine, no matter what. You do not have to subject yourself to the work of the enemy, even though it seems to be pervasive, says the Lord. Romans 11, 11 through 14, and do this knowing the time that now it is the high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in revelry and drunkenness, not in lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. Yes, yes, good stuff. It is 75 Main Street in Hamden. Do you already miss me? Can we go here if I fly up to visit you? Wayne, town in Maine. Wayne is a town in Kennebec. Kennebec. 
county, Maine, United States, the population was 1,189 at the 2010 census. The town was named after the Revolutionary War General Anthony Wayne. During the summer, Wayne is come home and is home to camp. Interesting. I'll four photos when I'm home. I'll four photos when I'm home. I want to go on a road trip with you through this area. I love this. Oh, wait, are you driving through here now to Wayne? I went through Wayne, Joan, already. I want to go back next time with you if you invite me back for our next date. Stern Joan looking at Rungle in the jungle. Why are you so stern, Joan? You read? You're reading my children's book? Oh, I didn't realize you were taking this. I've been doing errands. Ooh. I wonder if this was filmed. Let's see. Because it's so difficult to communicate when the stress never leaves the body. Apparently, this is what happens to phones as well. Let's see where I 